Hello everyone and welcome to a weekly message from Jesus. Tonight we are going to have a wonderful show for you. It is Holy Week and our Father is joining us with his message. So without any more delay, let me channel the words of Jesus for all of you. Good afternoon. I am here today on the time or during the week where you celebrate both or I should say you commemorate Good Friday upon the day that I suffered and passed and celebrate my resurrection on Sunday. It is a very special time of the year. It should be a time when humans focus on love and focus on family and focus on what they can do to provide comfort for others that need that comforting. As I have mentioned many times, there are people that are suffering greatly from the pandemic and need personal interaction to help them live better lives. Many are depressed and many are contemplating suicide. If you know someone during this Holy Week and in the time thereafter that falls in that category, please contact them and tell them that you care for them and try to bring some joy into their lives. There are many senior citizens that are alone at this time and can use your help. When I walked the earth, I knew how my life was going to end. I knew that I had to suffer at the hands of the Romans and I knew that my passing would be remembered and that the time of my passing would be instrumental in allowing folks to remember my name and my teachings. I instructed my disciples to go forth and to spread my words. They did so amazingly well. They spoke my words and many people listened and believed and many of them were martyred because of their beliefs. Remember that in those days the Romans worshipped many gods and they felt that what I was speaking was heresy and was against their way of life. I did indeed suffer on the cross. I passed with honor and dignity and what happened after that changed the world. I resurrected from the grave. That is what you all celebrate on your Easter Sunday. The miracle of my resurrection is one of the greatest miracles that has ever taken place on earth. I arose from the grave. I spoke with many of my disciples. I let them see my body as proof that I had resurrected. Only God has the power of resurrection. No one has ever done that besides my spirit. Know that if you show love and faith in God, your soul will be resurrected in heaven. The path to my heaven is very simple. Lead a good life. Tell others of your love. Have love for me in your heart. Let them know that that their belief, your belief, is unstoppable and unquenchable. There is a little bit of God in everyone's heart. 
I'm a universal energy, and I am with you all. Many of you believe in me, and that is a wonderful thing. But there is much evil in your world today. If you look at the religions of the world, you will find that people are drawing away from them. As people draw away from them, some may still believe and worship, but many will stop to believe in me, and they will feel that their daily lives are much more important than what happens when their soul arrives in my heaven. I can assure you that the journey of your soul is the most important thing that you will ever face. When we sent you back, we gave you life plans that you were intended to follow. If you followed those plans, all will be well when you return home. Keep in mind there is never evil in my heaven. Evil is learned by the soul when it returns. There is much evil energy on, your, on earth, and it is how the soul reacts to that evil energy that will determine how they are welcomed when they return home. So as you celebrate my resurrection on Sunday, make it a time of reflection. Think about how you can live better lives. Think about what you can do to help others. What you need to do is to drive hatred from your heart. Hatred will only hold back the advancement of your soul. Hatred and evil are the energies that will try to keep you from ascending into the realms of my heaven. When you pass, you will return. There is no way around that. If you have been born, you will, you will die. Just remember that death is the beginning of a new cycle for you. When you come over, you will be judged on how you lived your life. And that judgment will determine how you will live your future lives. So remember that everything you do is very important. Remember that you need to love me. Remember that you need to help others. And remember that you have to be, that you have to be kind. If you follow all of these things, you will do well when you return home. The evil that is growing in your world today must be stopped. Only you can do it. While you will not be able to change the world yourself, you can affect many others, and those many others can affect many as well. What you do has the ability to lead others to a good life. So just as I suffered on the cross, many of you will have to bear the burden of suffering as a learning experience. But as you advance and approach your time of passing, you will be approaching the most wonderful time that your soul has during your lifetime. When your soul exits your body, you will return home. I hope that it will be a wonderful greeting for you. Your greeting will depend on how you live your lives. So, during this Holy Week, I want you to reflect on what you have done in your past. Your past is truly, the, is truly ended, and your past can have little bearing on what you do in your future. Each morning as you arise, think of what you can do to help others and to assure that you are following my words. So just as surely as I was resurrected, your soul will return home to me. The greeting that you get will be truly dependent upon your life actions. Look to the future. 
Think about what you can do to help others. Think about what you can do to spread my words. If you follow my advice, you will have no problems. Many of you have harmed many in the past. You can make up for that. There is much that you can do personally. When you arrive home, there will be no excuses. You will be judged on your actions. So with these words, I'm going to leave you once more. On Sunday as you meditate, think about me. Think about what I went through. Many of you are going through much sickness and mental duress at this time. Your suffering and my suffering are quite similar. Suffering is part of a life plan. Grief is part of a life plan. And returning home is also part of a life plan. So on this day, I bless all of you that are listening to me. I hope that you can feel my loving energy and follow my words. So I will return to you next week, and I will have more messages for you. Please pay attention to them, because I assure you there will be a time where how you responded to my messages will be reflected in how you advance in my realms. So goodbye, and I will have another message for you next week. Thank you, Father, for another wonderful message. And thank you for coming to us on this wonderful Holy Week. If you would like to read his words, I have several books that are available that can bring you his words about his life and the messages of those that lived with him. My first book is Spirit Speak, Channeling the Life of Jesus. It tells the true story of his life through channeling sessions with those that were around him. My latest book is Spirit Speaks, Channeling Jesus and the Holy Spirits. You would find that this is a wonderful book to read as well. It brings you the truth about those that were around him. So thank you for listening. Please tell your friends about us because their lives are also very important and all of you will experience the same soul journey at the end of your life. So with those words, I'm going to say goodbye. Please tune in again next week. Check out the messages because it is only your soul that is at risk. So goodbye.